Giant Geeks recently adjusted the Charming Moth experience rate as part of their Wilderness Ninja Strike, and so we wonder, are Charming Moths still a relevant training method? Let's find out, so whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Charming Moths are a hunter and agility training method located on the far east side of the wilderness, north of the Green Dragon. These glowy boys require level 88 hunter and level 83 agility, with both requirements being boostable. Extreme hunter potions will allow you to get access to these at level 78 hunter, while stamina potions will allow you to get access to these at level 77 agility. Now, even if you do have the hunter level requirements, you're going to want to be using extreme hunter potions to increase your catch rate, therefore increasing your experience per hour. In fact, here's a recommended setup in case you have these requirements. Now, they're absolutely not necessary, although that being said, having things that increase your catch rate, such as the Tracker Aura, Super or Extreme Hunter Potions, the Volcanic Trapper Outfit, and even Invisible Boost, such as the Arctic Bear Pouch, do increase experience gained by a significant amount. Additionally, you're able to use an item called the Ring of Metamorphosis, which has a 6% chance to double experience gained here, which is going to be very nice to use. And of course, the Demonic Skull, which now increases your experience gained for both Agility and Hunter by 40%, which we'll be covering in just a second. And finally, of course, using Decorated Hunter Urns, and if owned, the Urn Enhancer will increase your experience per hour by 20 to 25%. Decorated Hunter Urns are active Activated using mud runes and can be auto teleported in your settings as seen. Okay, so what are the new experience values for Charming Moths? Well, if you look on the table on screen, you can clearly see that both the Hunter and Agility experience have decreased by a significant amount. However, the Hunter experience with the Demonic Skull turned on is exactly the same as before, despite the base Hunter XP having decreased. Sadly, the Agility experience from each successful catch used to be 19% more before this week's changes. Essentially, what this means is that if you we're using a demonic skull to begin with, you'll be getting the exact same hunter experience per hour, albeit with less agility experience as a bonus. So what kind of experience rates can you actually expect? Well, without any boost at level 19 on hunter and agility, I was able to get 208,000 hunter experience per hour, while also getting 33,000 agility experience per hour. Now, these are base rates without any boosts, as using urns would increase that hunter experience rate to 250,000 experience per hour. If you use a high-level setup, including the Ring, Volcanic Trapper Outfit, Arctic Bear Patch, Extreme Hunter Potions, and in my case, the Master Tracker Aura, you'll be able to pull off around 488,000 Hunter Experience per hour, while also getting 73,000 Agility Experience per hour. It's also worth noting that the Volcanic Trapper Outfit has a direct teleport to Charming Moths, which will save you some time running here. Now, both the empty and high-level setup can have their XP rates increased immensely by using that Demonic Skull, which, while it does make you attack by any player does increase your experience by 40% and allows you to fill more urns per hour. If you happen to have all hunter boosts and some general XP boosts like a premier artifact or some torso incense sticks, you could potentially be getting over 900,000 hunter experience per hour here, which is just utterly insane considering how AFK this is and because you'll also be gaining a bunch of charm. If you're wondering, you'll be able to gain around 360 to 820 charms per hour here, with 10% of those being blue charms and 20% being crimson. And no, before you ask, charming potions do not work here and you're not able to increase your charms per hour by using those. So yes, charming moths are still fantastic hunter experience per hour and just as AFK, although provide a less agility experience than before. With that being said, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.